Since She-Hulk just came out on Disney+, Plus, I thought it'd be fun to look back on all the Hulk posters over the years from the films, including She-Hulk, see how they stack up. We've never seen anything even close to your levels of exposure. I'd appreciate if you Hulk smashed that subscribe button as I post tons of movie and TV show related content all the time. First up is Ang Lee's Hulk featuring Eric Bana. Remember that gem of a film? Eric Bana, side note, my favorite Hulk. Just throwing that out there. A consistent theme you're gonna notice with me when it comes to poster critique is I like things simple. Here, there's a message being sent to the audience and that is, we don't wanna reveal this guy yet. And that was a big thing with the early trailers. They were really keeping the Hulk behind the curtain. You had to get out to theaters to see what he would look like. I wouldn't say this is a great poster, but I don't hate it either. It's effective at the end of the day. It's an effective poster. We have the comic font here. If you remember Ang Lee's Hulk, it was very comic heavy. Like he took it literally. There's pages of comic books flipping around, stuff's freezing and then coming into motion. Pretty bad, honestly, but it had style and I'll, I'll give him bonus points for that. I'm getting a heavy Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles animated TV show from this background. It reminds me of that badass intro where we're scaling the buildings, you see the night sky. It, it's, it's pretty cool. It's simple but effective. All right, next up we got Edward Norton in The Incredible Hulk, one of the first films in the MCU. It's certainly been a ride, hasn't it? Look how different the character looks compared to what we see in She-Hulk. It's night and day what they've done to this poor bastard. This is a very emo poster. It's very angsty and honestly, Honestly, it's not bad. I kind of dig it. Anyone familiar with the source material knows that Bruce Banner, he wasn't one for cracking a lot of jokes. Uh, he was a pretty serious dude, pretty emotionally torn. That's changed a lot over the years, obviously. But here that's really coming out. We see him looking down. He doesn't like the shadow behind him, this big green beast that he becomes. He's ashamed of it. He looks away. The Hulk, however, is very proud of himself and he's willing to take on any challenge. That's why he's standing there, hulking, ready to fight. The focal point here is a little bit distracting. Looks like they're going right at his junk, but regardless, I dig what's happening. The designer knows exactly what they're doing on this poster. Look how they bring the chopper lights in, show the silhouette and bring it right down to the Hulk logo. They're drawing your eyes directly to that title and then boom, the release date's in a nice crisp bright white. So you know when this thing's coming out to theaters and you're gonna be there day one to get slightly disappointed. Another small final note I like about this is that the names at the top aren't obnoxious. Usually when you have some big name actors in a film, they blow that crap out at you. They want you to see it, but here, nice, nice and subdued. It's there, but you don't need to notice it if you don't want to. Now for the main event, She-Hulk. And there's quite a few posters that have been released. I have a hard time, honestly, nowadays, knowing what's official and what's not. Mainly because A, the official posters are really shitty often, and B, Fan-made posters are getting really good. What is this? What, what reaction am I supposed to get here? Because the first thing I think is, wow, she has really skinny, sickly looking legs. Isn't She-Hulk supposed to be thick, T-H-I-C-C, -C, and hot, like a character out of a new Street Fighter game? This almost looks like an alien's going to work. It's also really odd how much focus is on this briefcase, which is bizarrely placed behind her leg. As for the logo at the bottom, that's fine. I actually kind of like the she, the, the purple California dreaming style cursive. That looks fun, playful, energetic. Purple and green play very well together, but this poster as a whole plays like total ass. What in the hell am I looking at here? What, what is the purpose of this poster? Is this a reference to something else? Is it paying homage to like a Better Call Saul poster that I haven't seen? That, that might be the case actually, but here I just, it looks miserable. Everything is so fake and artificial. Look at the background buildings. This poster is so bad. I'm almost convinced there's something more to it. Like it's clever and wittier than I am and it's just going over my head. But when I look at this, I think, okay, she's placed to the side, strategically covering certain words, but what? Okay, she's moved to the side so we can see both versions of her, Jennifer Walters and She-Hulk. Except for Jennifer Walters looks like a cartoon here. So there's really not that much of a difference outside of one's green. And since she's green, and the background elements are green, and the bench is a darker green, it's all lost in translation. It's all washed out and you're just drawn to Walters, sitting there, lame as shit, and then to the logo. And I think, okay, I have no interest in this show. This is sad. I feel sad for her, she's by herself. 
Look at these shitty posters. They're official. What is happening? Okay, I'm gonna give you one positive poster. I have no idea if this is officially done by Disney. It was on Reddit. I saw it. It's gorgeous. You have a stiletto shaped island and at the top, at the tippy top, you have She-Hulk. Clearly a woman once, now turned into a beast in the jungles, in the wild. And we can follow this story. Her transformations at the top, you have the purple rocks and you follow the sway down to the left into the city where she's gonna end up. It's a great poster because not only does it convey a message, but man, is it pretty to look at. The purples, the green, some yellow to tie it all in. It plays very nicely. This is probably not official and that's embarrassing because look how much better it can be. And the same probably will be said about the show. Well, there you have it, my take on the Hulk posters. Movies got it right. They did a pretty good job. She-Hulk, let's just hope the show doesn't match the quality of the posters. There's my take. I'd love to hear from you though because we're all critics at the end of the day. We all have opinions and eyes. Some just work better than others. I guess some people don't have eyes. Make sure to subscribe to the channel for more poster commentary, TV show, movie reactions, reviews, everything around this stuff. I'm doing it each and every week and I'd love to have you here. And if you have any poster suggestions for the future, please post them in the comments below. And make sure to check out that playlist. There's a poster playlist. It's a good time. Take care. We're gonna have to watch that temper of yours. <laughs> Since I still have you here, if you want poster reactions, but at a fraction of the time, check me out on TikTok at Adam Does Movies. Also, if you really like my stuff, make sure to check me out on Patreon at patreon.com slash Adam Does Movies. I have a dollar tier, I have a $5 tier. It's just a way to say, Adam, I love your one man operation. Keep going. And I'll look at that and say, wow, thanks Ryan, I appreciate it. And if your name's not Ryan, well, then we have an uncomfortable dialogue, but we move on with our day.